Hey everyone, I'm Steph. Welcome to pt to go for the runner I've been a physical therapist for over 10 years and a runner for over 20 and I've helped so many people get back to running injury-free that I wanted to share some of my tips and tricks with you too. So if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. And if you're interested in a customized training plan so that you can get fit, avoid injuries, and reach your next PR, please visit my website and join the mailing list so you can get some more information as well as get your free runner specific strength training plan. Today I want to show you how to lace your shoes to prevent heel slip that can cause blisters. So if this is something you've dealt with, stay tuned. So this method of lacing is called the heel lock method and I actually used to use it when I played soccer a long time ago. So my heel wouldn't slip out of my cleats. Um, and it wasn't until year, years later that I took a foot and ankle continuing education course for physical therapy that I learned the name and what else it can be good for. Okay, so this is my shoe without the method. And it's tied as tight as I would tie it is tight normally, but obviously my heel can slip pretty easily. So if I was running or even walking all day in these, it could potentially cause some blisters. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to lace the heel lock method. So you want to have your laces out so that there's two holes remaining at the top. So what I'm gonna do is lace across over here on this side, and then I'm gonna come back with the same lace back through that second hole on the top. And so I'm gonna do that on both sides. So I'm gonna come in, first one end on the last one okay and then to finish I'm going to loop the opposite side through the loop I made on the other and do the same thing over here so looping through so if I were going to tighten this I want to pull on these top laces to tighten here Okay, then you're gonna pull your normal laces. You can do kind of a, a wiggle like that to loosen it up. Again, you'll pull on the very top hole, the lace there, and then you'll be able to loosen your shoe normally. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten, I'm gonna pull. I can pull these laces down here too if I need, and then I'm gonna pull that second to last loop lace. I'm going to pull my other strings straight out and then I'm going to kind of wiggle them to get them nice and tight at the top. I'm going to lace normally and my heel is nice and tight in there and I cannot get my heel out. So a lot less slippage when I'm walking or running. This method can be helpful even if you don't run. Maybe you wear a heel lift in one shoe or your orthotics make your heel want to come out of your shoe. You know, it can be useful in shoes other than running shoes as well. Try this method and it will help lock your heel down so you don't get the slipping that can cause those painful blisters. Has anyone ever tried this method before or have another method that they really like? Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear um, any other ideas anyone else has out there. I hope this was helpful. It has worked great for me. Um, to avoid heel slippage with running, walking, and working in my shoes. Please share with your family and friends so you don't have to hear them whining about their blisters. Um, and thanks for watching.